Okay, I want to demo something real quick. This is just using the Yarn Mono Rebo to host the um, everything we need. Actually, let me just show you how it works real quick. So I get this get this up and running. Okay. So basically, here's our little site here. What we have is a nav bar with three different pages. React Router. So the home page is going to give you a, a UI library that's imported from another repo into here. So we just count. And uh, this is just a React. It's a React like repo from a different repo, a, a UI library repo. And then this one is going to use um, a some observables. This is a a child, a parent, and a grandparent observable. So if I say like uh, if I say like um, child auth uh, title, and like child author, then it'll it'll react and it'll add these. But if I were to say something like um, parent title parent author, it'll it will update this and that, but not this because this is the original one. This is index off of this, and then this is index off of that. So this will trigger these two updates. This will trigger this update, and this will be independent. So we could say grandparent title, grandparent author, and add that. But you see, now they have different states. But if I were to go back here and say, um, like child title two, child auth, author two, and add this, it's gonna blow these other ones away because now they're because they're all linked. So that's the books. This is um, this is another the exact same idea, except these are just incrementing here. Go like this, like that. You see, it goes independently. But if I go like this to twelve, this will be then 13, 14. All right. So yeah. So that's export. That's uh, mono repo and observables. The way that um, this works is uh, <clears throat> we could say uh, let's go to the actual uh, the root here so this is the mono repo um, this is for something else but anyway if we just run yarn clean it will clean up everything so all the node modules will clean all out and if I say yarn and yarn dev let me just to show you this is not working okay yarn and yarn dev it will run concurrently it'll run all of the it'll run all of the um dev scripts concurrently so that uh yeah so everything that has everything that's a sub you know everything that's a package of this mono repo will have it all run concurrently so it's just sort of like um I forgot there there's another uh, package that does that too but yeah it's concurrently anyway so um, the UI package is uh, imported from here we're exporting all this so this counter button and this header just okay this is just a UI this is just a UI this is a V they're all V projects this is a UI library this is marks observable and I put everything in V just because it'll it'll I can just let it take care of um, compiling everything if we want to export if we like to put it in an npm package or whatever um v i'll let v handle all that i don't want to mess with it and then this is the actual consuming uh, li uh library we're calling calling it this so a bunch of different components are using um you know using stuff out of a out of this uh, observable but it's not this observable it's using actually let me show you the store so the store imports marks observable okay and then uses the, the observable and observable factory and creates these objects and does this so um the marks observable package imports from here okay so that's pretty much how everything works